Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Dogma, the mini let's play. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our gameplay footage of Dragon Dogma 2, which just has released. So we went into the capital, Wernworth, and got an indication that apparently the current ruling queen is uh, behind um, an intrigue uh, where she um, set us up for failure. The Arisen that we are is the rightful ruler of this realm, but the queen doesn't want to part with her throne. Uh, that we will need to investigate, but before we're doing any of it, uh, I just wanted to highlight the obvious fact. We changed uh, professions. We're now a warrior. I purchased uh, the last skill for the mage, Levitation. Unfortunately, we currently can't see it. Maybe I'll showcase it a little bit uh, later, but we are now warrior. And we're just going to uh, test a little bit how warrior uh, looks and feels. I got a new sword and shield, so we're not uh, just starting with the absolute base equipment. And we're going to have some fun, but before we're doing that... I can hardly wait to open it. Let us hope your Let's get into uh, this tavern, because I know for a fact that there is someone waiting for us who might want to tell us more about the intrigue. And maybe he's not waiting. Would that I was kept half as busy as I once was. Well, in case of not having the main quest, how about we're just finding something to do then? There's a big fat exclamation mark right here. So if I had to take a guess. After you, Arisen. Oh, come on. How, how could this game be so difficult to just climb up here? I warn you, I'm not easily impressed. Is what she says before just chopping the fish into pieces. Maybe the quest is upstairs. Hmm. I was under the impression exclamation marks are the universal telltale for it being quests. Perhaps it's time what you need of me. I've got nothing for ye. Good. Let's explore a little bit outside then. As a warrior we can definitely run much longer. Constructing a bridge so grand is a glorious feat indeed. So that's our one attack. That is the air attack. And then we got a nice little shield attack as well. Alright, here we go. These two look like damsels in distress. We want to kip somewhere with a nice breeze. What's this all about? these three rather not really damsels but they are clearly distressed but they don't have a quest finally freshly rested as we are this battle ought to be in our favor try not to get hit lest all that then go to waste okay well uh, first learning be careful Oh, okay, it's definitely a different, a different experience. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? A very different experience. You're charging in. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. I'll hold on to this. 
After all, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have like a main quest at the moment, respectively. I may or may not have ignored it. Speak with the captain in the tavern at night. Okay, and the problem was we weren't there in the night, we were there during the day. That's why we haven't found him. Anyways, what is your job here? Okay, cool. Uh-oh. I'll wager I could make that shot. I look forward to seeing your marksmanship. You guys heard that scream as well, right? There is definitely a bigger creature somewhere around here. One thing that seems to be more difficult as a warrior is to heal up. But I'm sure we're going to find ways for that as well. For instance, our companion can simply heal us. Fancy a broken arm? Why, that's my speciality. Best not be bothering me for no reason. Hmm. I swear I've heard a big creature. And I'm seeing something winged flying outside. Chest. Oh yeah, there we go, harpies. Hold fast, Arisen! I shan't let you fall! Okay, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Let's get back in. Um, we do have health potions. Use that one. Something is keeping us down. It seems like we're sleeping. Song of the Harpies. Wow, what an encounter. Guess a ranged damage dealer would be fun. Trying to stay inside here so that we take less hits, but apparently that's not that easy. Oh, come on! <laughs> what kind of an encounter design is that? Sleeping against the wall. And we are using that and that.
And that. Okay, that's GG. Okay, well. Lesson learned. We are... Unless you do have a good range damage dealer, don't just run into um, a harpy's den. That might end very badly. There is a chest up there, but the harpies with their sleeping song are a problem. So we're trying that again, but... I am um, attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize... The All right, to me. Let's there are go. Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Can we fight here? My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. We can already see the harpies, right? Oh, yeah. Let's try this again. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? Harpies, be on your guard. Have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Okay, we're staying a little bit further down this time. There we go. Good, we just need to wait. Wait down here. And we're getting our stamina back. And I won't fall for the same trap again. Yeah, come here. Take care where you place your feet. A sharp incline is as like to throw us off balance as it is our enemies. Good. Much easier. We learned out of the f uh, first fight and we were successful. Ring of Awareness. Alright. What is a Ring of Awareness? Reduce the accumulation of uh, Buera's sleep value. Well, that isn't bad against harpies. Master, if you're carrying around anything you don't need, there's no time like the present to rid yourself of it. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. Sure. Wow. The world is ginormous. Let's explore a little bit further until it is evening, then we go back into the tavern and... Did anyone else see that? Ort catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. I want to see what kind of big creature roams around here. Because we heard a couple of screams. Could be another Cyclops for all I know. And I would love to fight one. Learned, by the way, that the exclamation marks are not quests, but rather chests. I grant you all. Very good. A well-aimed strike, right where it hurts. 
See, since this seems to be a harpy infested territory. For starters, come to me. And uh, secondly, I think we're going to use that uh, ring. Because I don't want to sleep again. Instead of well instead of uh, no fire resistance. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to. Good morrow to you, Arisen. Can you please heal, Siren? Good, we're slowly but surely getting the hang of it. Still sure we had kind of a larger creature. And we sort of uh, bypassed it. Was beset by but whatever, it is what it is. We're going to go and handle these guys One instead. One cannot be too careful. Nice. Fall back. Fire weapon is really good. Oh wow, who are you? Oh wow, who are you? Now there's a worthy prize. If only to work so far away. And it would be great if our healer could actually heal us. Is that possible? What do I need to do in order to make you heal us? There you go. Finally found that key, right? If I might be so bold as to speak my mind. The private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. Words worth hearing. Okay, careful in the water. It is no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. No, I think there is a treasure here. But I don't know how to get it. Anyways, I like the little um, treasure hunt aspect. And I like the idea that we're finding enemies left and right. Oh, wow. I also like it that every single enemy seems to be able to grab you. That really makes the combat much more entertaining. I've got a good feeling about this one. And we can also, of course, grab every single enemy. One last thing, so uh, items, we can combine these things, right? So that for instance would be three 
droughts? Correct, cool. Then, now that we do have the Sabalurius droughts, uh, I can uh, hotkey them. And it should work very well. Okay, oh, yep. Drinking them with a hotkey is much better. These guys are tough. Definitely, oh, I'm definitely at the end. Can they heal me? No. Wow. Okay, they are tough. They are very uh, tough. Hot keying the healing potions helped us, but at some point when your uh, when your wounds are just too much, then there is no need in continuing it. The problem with the warrior is uh, you. I, I do have a block and that's pretty much about it but you can't really dodge a whole lot there, master. Ice is our ally against the One of us has I think we also need to focus fire way more Yeah, you need ha uh, harder pu uh, punches, otherwise they're just not dying. I'm learning a lot about the monsters. It's uh, it's really an interesting uh, trial and error. look at that once you once you focus on them they are actually quite easily destroyed that was superb arisen be sure there's a third one yep good okay cool whoa two more Once you sever their tail, they become weak. Just need to attack them from behind, like that. Good shit, well... That was easy. Pawn leveled up, we leveled up. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. 
Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? We're so wounded. We are so wounded. And we definitely need to upgrade our armor. We have a lot of uh, mm, a lot of funds now. Might as well just spend some in order to upgrade the armor. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way? An astounding discovery. Indeed. Good on you for being so observant. This is generally used as a material. Cool. We killed all of them, which is a good start, I would say, for what we're trying to do. Did anyone else see that? Ought catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. Fantastic, and we're being rewarded with a lot of stuff that we can gather raspberries, apples, and so on and so forth. Good. Good for us. I think now is a good time to move back to the city. Take it from uh, there. Uh, buy new armor and essentially ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Essentially, uh, go with an actual quest. The sun is starting to set, and I want to make sure that we're okay. So, second part of this episode, we're actually doing a quest. All right, we're back in the game, Dragon's uh, Dogma 2. So uh, we have uh, yet again uh, reskilled ourselves. Uh, got well, we haven't reskilled again, but uh, we have repaired our equipment, and we have now taken a couple of quests. And let me uh, just double check here in terms of quests. Uh, one of that is Monster Culling where we're being asked to deal with monster threats. So that seems relatively straightforward. You can see a couple of kind of yellow spots on the map uh, over here, over here and over here. And I am about to explore exactly that and do uh, the quests. So we are ready to get right into the thickest of it um, up here. Seem to be a couple of monsters. You can see I hired Mur Mur Murazara, a um, thief that is helping us. Level 11, still got Siren, a couple of pawns. So, Here at last. we have found a goblin lair, so let's start to invade that. I'm still learning uh, the ins and outs hey. of the warrior, Shall but I think I got a pretty depths. solid grab now Shred of what is and is possible. <laughs> Good, let's go, baby. All right, that I like it. The goblin layer is fun. Give me that fire weapon again. We would be ill advised to proceed without light. Siren. I hope there are no traps. I haven't seen a lot yet. The fire must be put out here our comrade burns. Yeah. 
very good. Got ourselves a couple of dead goblins. Fantastic. You can count on me to keep you safe. Very good. I think Siren down there is still fighting. The biggest problem that I'm facing at the moment is we're getting a lot of wounds, and wounds start to I'll gather these now. to add up They're over time, and then just your max health is reduced. This is why I died with the harpies. So, um, and in the follow-up fight against the crocodiles. So I learned my lesson there. Need to really take care of the wounds. I grant you fire's blade. Use it well. And regularly use the healing uh, fountain of the mage, because that's essentially free healing. Good. Great treasure here. We found a great sword. Uh, let's just double check what that uh, item does. So, greatsword is for warriors. Is it a two-hander or a one-hander? No, it's a two-hander. But I think that is for a different class. It is not warrior, it seems to be for the fighter class. Apologies, Master, but I can't guide you there from our current location. Nice. That one worked well. Smash this guy, and smaller ones can easily be killed uh, with just throwing them um, off their feet. What I uh, started to appreciate is just how much uh, en uh, the engine works with uh, any form of movement and Master, like physics around anything you don't need There's okay no there is like the to there is it. definitely a fight over there Boy, you then. If you to fight, give us a hand right remember charade we're in your death scatter the goblins all right we're taking this guy down Preventing anyone from hitting us in the back. Oh, nice. That was good XP. It is done. And that seems, that seems to be another adventure party. Nice. It was a simple patrol mission till we walked into their ambush. Those cursed things caught us entirely unawares. I don't know where we'd be if you hadn't come along. I pray you'll let me repay the favor, if ever there's a chance. Could you come over here? Sure. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Good. Um, we just got a couple of daggers, I think. Yep, look at that. Signs of Valor. That's a fantastic set of daggers. Something to consider when we're respecking into Rogue. Yon chest appears to be beyond our reach. Surely we can make our way over to it somehow. Oh oh, that's a nice chest. But that also looks like a chest where you can easily die if you're falling down. 
Oh, a mate with a levy tape would be perfect. Don't worry, I shall wait for you right here. A mate with a levy tape would be absolutely perfect. Uncommon materials can be found here, methinks. Nope. Uh, I can't get up there. Never mind, let's explore the dungeon further. Water is now invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. I expect that's a common occurrence in our line of work. Good, let's just double check where this hall is le uh, leading. Oh, it's leaving, uh, leading all the way up to a mountaintop of sorts. Interesting. Wow, look at the site. I think these are the teleportation crystals, but I have not found out how you teleport. Out of the cave at last. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. You have my support. It will be a joy to serve one so gallant. Level 16 warrior. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and we get her for free. Uh, I don't know. I still... Nah, can't do it. We have too many warriors. Is there another one? A non-warrior? No, there isn't. Unfortunate. Cool. So I think there was still a little bit more that we could do, do what with the goblins. You You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. So down there, there are definitely more goblins, and we should give it a go and see if we can reach them. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. I wish we had levitate. That would be so good. But maybe there is. Kind of a consolation prize down here. Oh, there is definitely a big warrior. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Let my magic draw you an elemental doom. Don't make a difference when I you see. Oh wow. Yeah, these small craters are a bit of a problem. This time, I nicely interrupted him. Okay, a little bit of uh, wounds that we took, but we also leveled up nicely. Uh, level 12 now, and there seems to be even a little bit more. We've got a ranger's tights uh, here. Wow, how deep is that? How deep is uh, this? It's not only just a goblin thing. It seems to be like a massive mine of swords. Ok, 
Okay, I think we finally found the end. Or did we? There are dead goblins down here. Maybe there is a creature that eats goblins. About Shall we report our results? You found an arc staff. Arc staff and great sword need to be uh, brought to the guild. Okay, cool. So that's another quest. Let's go, baby. I'm not 100% sure what silver ore is good for, but I assume smithing or enchanting. I grant you boring there we go, finally. After three hits, this guy is down. Are you guys serious? Well, whilst I kill one all by myself, you three take that long to get a single one of them down. Okay, so he is sleeping. And we fully eviscerated him. Nice. <laughs> Trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Look here. A path. Is it safe, I wonder? Well, we've got only one way to find out whether or not it's safe. This is a massive cave system. of enemies there. Okay, now we do have a problem. Continuing to have a problem. Oh boy, I'm being sliced and diced. Don't like it. Why are they fighting only me? Come on. Alright, that was a good fight. Although I'm unhappy with my performance in it. Nice. I like how this is becoming a full fledged dungeon. You're like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There is loot up there.
I saw a chest up there. This boulder if we work together. Shall we set it rolling? Yeah, okay, never mind. And it was not a chest, it was just this here. Good, moving in deeper. We're still not done. Yeah, I, oh, I think we're done. Yeah, that was the last direction, so we explored the entirety of the mine. We already came from here. Cool, very good. So, I am thinking about the length of the video, and I think we're You're almost, you uh, like almost like done. I'd gladly with a showcase the for the warrior uh, took me a while to just get accustomed to it but for starters the travel mine was really really nice I thoroughly enjoyed myself with that one uh, and secondly the warrior is much more interactive than the mage gameplay I'd wager there's all to be found here Let so very different down. experience. I think we're going to respec uh, next up archer or uh, next up actually rogue because we uh, did find some rogue daggers might as well uh, take them and spend some money what's up here by the way travel mine travel mine okay I see so well, that's the two entrances good here's the deal let's get back to the city and uh, hand in our quest rewards and then we're going to give it um, then we're going to give it a respec and we're going to see the uh, archer in the next uh, video let me just fast forward for you the travel all right so we're finally back and we can a bring the arc uh, staff back deliver it there you go Oh ho! Most excellent. You may now change your vocation. However, if you wish to register as a good tidings. Cool. How we freed up apparently two new vocations. You may now change your vocation as desired. Sir. What's more, I beg. A moment long awaited. I knew it was. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Good. Let's first of all still with our character we got 3600 discipline so we have a couple of uh, vocations uh, we can always change back uh, to mage uh, we're not staying as a mage I just want to make sure that we do have all of the skills well we could get a couple more but that's fine let's go with fighter and just double checking so we have a couple of core skills and weapon skills so number one we got a nice little um, uppercut that we could get since it's a base skill it doesn't require anything so we're definitely going to go with that then the falling skill is super good that would have uh, saved us from the harpies if we would have just landed on the shield that is nice as well so i think we're just going to take all of the passive skills because they are indeed very very nice in terms of augments we got metal uh, which increases our physical prowess so yes please want to get that and we got provocation uh, which I'm not sure if we really want that I mean it's good for uh, for a tank but before we don't have the right weapon skills I don't think we should take it so 
we can upgrade the burst uh, strike uh, stronger and just faster travel which is great we got compass slash and oh, that is a nice one as well <laughs> a multi-attack that's great as well better shield bash Shield summon, which basically means everybody is going to go for us, and Impeccable Guard. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, we're definitely going for Impeccable Guard. Thank you. I like the springboard. That one is good. I saw that in the original presentation. That's a nice little skill. Uh, but I think instead of now put, putting more into warrior, which we without a shadow of a doubt could do, um, we are actually going to go for the thief uh, vocation, um, fighter, sorry, because warrior is what we have unlocked. That's the two-handed uh, character. And we've unlocked sorcerer as well, which I don't know how it differentiates uh, to mage. Curative magic. Um, and I think this here is potentially more the offensive uh, version of it. Okay, so we're going with Thief, more melee combat, a mobile character, where we do have a sidestep. Fantastic, so we got good weapons. Oh, and we got really just basic gear, but it should be fine. We should be all right. Cool. In terms of weapon skills, we got Biting Wind, which is dashes past the target, hits it a couple of times. Then we got uh, Enkindled Blades. Hmm. And then we got Shadow Cloak. Enables the user to blend into the surroundings, rendering them more difficult to detect. I like it. Okay, we're definitely going to take that one. As a defensive skill, then Scarlet Kiss. Unleash a Fury of Blows. We're going to take that for sure. And might as well take and kindled blade there you go so what we haven't done yet is we have not spent anything in in our pawn which uh, begs the question what do we even want to do with a pawn so um, currently he is a frontline fighter and I actually like the idea of always having like one frontline fighter but if that's the case then by all means become even more effective with it because we haven't even bought any uh, skills um, and it seems that these guys are having their own uh, their own uh, discipline points so buy all of the pass uh, passive skills that start with that become a really good warrior buy the augments make sure that you also get the augment where you're getting attacked more often. Okay, then. Uh, the shield bash thing is not bad. I like that. Shield summon. Might be something... Might be something that we want to give him. Very good. We still have 2,000, so we're Gucci. Upgrading Burst Strike into Burst Strike version 2. Good. And what else do we have? That's a good night. That hindsight slash is super good. Oh, 
Oh, that is really good. I should have gotten that on my warrior. That's exactly the type of um, of action that you want. Okay, with with the right actions, I stand corrected. There is definitely a bit more skill to the movement than I would have given it uh, credit for. But yeah, you're continuing uh, to be the frontline warrior. Um, I think. Always a pleasure. I think now that we have gotten all of uh, that, we're also back to 15,000, which is great. Um, I'm just wondering, should we... What's his... What's his equipment? Oh, he does have a... He does... A, he can use the same equipment as we can. We definitely need to give him better equipment. Uh, if he's our main tank, then we need armor. And it's not wasted because we can always equip it once we are back at Warrior. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. And quality's what you need if you want to survive. Alright, Bjorn. Give me a moment. Uh, I don't want to spend... Uh, we need to clad us and our and our defender so we need high defense ratings and i'm just wondering my soldier's helmet not bad wow look at that 4500 just for that's a lot of money I think the biggest bang for your buck will be the main armor, guardian plate armor, for instance, twelve thousand. And my train of thought is rather get one good item instead of five m mediocre-ish items. Let's get the guardian plate armor. Five. So before you check the prot, hope to see you again. All right, my dude. Oh, we can only use our stuff. Hmm. And the pawn just never levels up equipment. That is hard to imagine. There we go. He can indeed use that. Good, and whilst we are here, give that to our pawn and give that to our pawn. Our packs are heavier and our purses far lighter. Look at you, all decked out. Very and nice armor. For safer travels can Fantastic. Um, well, we have no more if, uh, no more money left for our own armor, but that's okay. Main pawn uh, got it all. Anyways, we're cutting it short here, guys, because I think that was a great uh, little introduction into the warrior's ways. And next up, we are helping with more uh, monster hunting. Down here seems to be another really big... Um, whatever it is and we're going to go there with uh, us being a rogue and are going to exterminate it uh, that will happen in the next episode thank you so much for watching truly appreciate it if you like dragon's dogma 2 leave a comment and a like down below and we see each other in the next episode bye bye